Welcome to Enoch, a hellhole of madness and misery. If you don't want to end up as worm food, what worked for you in the old world won't work here. Natural. Running and hiding are simply not viable options. Here, if you plan on surviving, you need to shift your mind into a higher gear. So let me walk you through the mantras of survival. Could I have your attention, please? First, cover is for cowards. Yeah, that's right. You can use cover. Nobody's stopping. But you're a biological sledgehammer. Act like one. Chuck yourself into the fray. Two, your powers are on tap. You feel that tingling in your fingertips? Your powers are ready to be unleashed. Don't keep them waiting. Three, you've got to kill to heal. There's no use licking your wounds. Want your health back? Get out there and take it. Violence breeds vitality. And finally, a guiding philosophy to end. You have to think aggressive. for Outriders, coming February 25th, 2021. And this won't merely be a single quest or a 30-minute snippet. Nope, this demo will feature the entire opening chapter of Outriders. No holds barred. It is huge with around three hours of gameplay and brimming with content and things to do that will give you a great idea of what the full game has to offer. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. As if you needed any further persuading, here are 10 reasons why you need to play the Outriders demo. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Number 1. Find your class. All four classes in the game, Trickster, Pyromancer, Devastator and Technomancer, will be available for you to play through the demo with to experiment and find your perfect class. Will you be a tank pyro or a DPS devastator? Mix and match abilities, give them a test run and find what suits you. And there are hours of gameplay to be had by putting all the classes through their paces. Once you finish with the Technomancer, for example, why not go back and see what the Trickster has to offer? You'll need to pick a class before playing co-op, which brings us on to number two, multiplayer. This is the first time you'll not only be able to hop into the world of Enoch, but with the help of your friends too. Outriders supports up to a three-player team to tackle missions, explore the world, and progress through the story together. You can find a matchmaking terminal in your camp if you're looking for squad mates. But don't worry, if you jump into a lobby in which a player is further ahead in the story than you, the game will warn you before you fully join, to avoid any spoilers. More info on matchmaking and online play can be found in episodes 2 and 3 of the Outriders broadcast, so check those out if you haven't already. Number 3. Crossplay Following on from multiplayer is that the demo will support a complete cross-play experience. This lets you play the demo with your friends and other players no matter what system they're on. The demo will have crossplay turned off by default as it's still a beta version, but just head over to the options, switch it on, and you'll be good to go. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam on PC. No matter your preferred platform, you can play Outriders together. Number 4. Transfer your progress. If you try out the demo and decide to go all in for the full game, you won't lose your progress so far and can transfer it across. This even includes if you play the demo on current gen and then buy the full Outriders experience on next gen, as players will receive a free upgrade to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S versions. Don't say we never give you nothing. Number 5. An Epic Journey the Outriders demo showcases the prologue of the game, which introduces the entire story. This is a true RPG at its core. All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECA thought this whole plan through? A mystery hides at its center. Where is this strange signal coming from? What does it mean? The demo will give you a sample of the epic journey you're about to undertake. Number six, side quests. 
we won't restrict you to just the main campaign in the demo. It's swarming with side quests, which are replayable and will adapt loot and enemy skill to your current character level. Feel free to take on other missions from NPCs and really dig into the layers of this environment and its inhabitants. What happened here? <sighs> what does it fucking look like? We got mutilated. Side quests won't all be unlocked immediately, though. Certain ones have criteria to meet before you can tackle them. Good to see you again. With some only becoming available once you've defeated the Solar Tower boss. See if you manage to find and complete them all. Number 7. Weapons Shooting is interwoven in the DNA of People Can Fly as a studio. With gunplay classics like Bulletstorm, Gears of War Judgment and Painkiller, Outriders is a continuation of satisfying shooting. You might notice that you can dismantle weapons that don't take your fancy in exchange for parts. Also, you may well come across ore deposits throughout the demo. These both relate to the expansive modding you can unlock later on in your journey within the full game. Remember, saves are transferred within the same ecosystem, so feel free to mine to your heart's consent and have that loot handy for the full Outriders experience. More info on modding can be found on the Outriders YouTube channel. So give the weapons a go, whether you're the up-close and personal type or prefer to pick off from afar. Number 8. Powers But combat isn't all about the guns, oh no! The anomaly storms on Enoch have granted you unique powers, evolving you into a species called Altered. As you progress, you'll unlock more and more abilities that are exclusive to each of the four classes. From scorching waves of flames, to bending time and space, to summoning up an army of aiding assault weapons, to shoving a stone spike through your enemy's spine, yeah, you, you get the idea. Powers are prevalent in the Outriders demo, and cooldowns are minuscule. Now, you won't have access to all eight powers within the demo. You'll unlock the first four, with the latter half coming later in the game. Try mixing up different combinations and see what outcomes you achieve. Number 9. Create Your Outrider A staple of RPGs, and let's face it, the menu you probably spend far too long on, is character creation. And, did you know, you can change the look of your character on the fly within each camp. In the full game, this means you can evolve your look as you go. But even in the demo, there's a camp where you can switch things up. Fancy a new hairstyle? Or adding a badass piercing? Get customising! Number 10. Play Aggressive In Outriders, the scared hide and the hesitant die. Because a key mechanic in the game is that you need to kill enemies to heal. With powers on tap and four in total that you can switch in and out within the demo, and yes, you can even hot swap them mid gameplay, there's no shortage of carnage to create on the battlefield. Light them up, slice them into, employ a turret barrage, or crush them into dust. Get out there, Outrider. We know how important specs, stats and options are to PC players. So we created this video just for you. Today we're going to showcase how Outriders shines on PC, covering everything from the essentials all the way to the tiny details that make a world of difference. Here are the topics we'll be covering in order. Fundamentals, the bare necessities such as system requirements and graphic settings. Quality of life improvements, the things that will generally enhance playing experiences and extra goodies. Aspects that may enhance your enjoyment beyond the game based on the hardware or software you own. Let's start with the absolute basics here. System requirements. As you may see, our aim here was to target a minimum of 60 FPS, regardless of what spec machine you're playing on. With CPU from 2012 and GPU from 2014, basically if you bought a desktop from the last 6 years, you'll be fine. To be completely honest, we tend to market our games using high-end PCs, but are also aware that the average gamer may not have such a setup. We want to be transparent here, so take a look at this short segment of gameplay using the minimum, recommended and ultra settings. And this brings us neatly to the all-you-can-eat buffet for all you GPU lovers. All of the basic and advanced graphic settings that can be changed to suit your PC's capability. Let's start with the general display settings, which lets you set up basic stuff like your preferred resolution and monitors. 
A cool thing to point out here is the possibility to lock and unlock the frame rate however you see fit and the options to adjust your general field of view, something we come back to in a bit. Our advanced settings will let you go even deeper. Next to the common presets, you are able to adjust about anything related to the visual presentation of Outriders. Mouse and keyboard support? Wait, is that even a question? Of course we have that, and as typical with most PC games, there will be key remapping functionality to suit your personally preferred layout. More of a pet person? Outriders will also support most first-party controllers including Steam, Xbox and PS4. We've integrated support for 13 languages, with the majority including interface, full audio and subtitles. Let's get on to the quality of life stuff. Outriders will support a full crossplay experience, meaning you don't have to be making any difficult decisions about where to buy the game. You will always be able to play with your friends, no matter their platform. Hey, you're welcome. We've got you multiple monitor and ultra wide screen elites covered too. Outriders will feature native ultra wide screen support to feast your eyeballs on gorgeous vistas or bloody battlegrounds. This will alter the output resolution on the fly, depending on whether what is happening on screen is creating a processing bottleneck. Essentially, DRS preserves frame rate and graphics quality by temporarily reducing the resolution until the blockage has been bypassed. Theoretically, you won't even really notice when DRS kicks in. And on that note, here's another brand new feature we haven't talked about yet. We are proud to announce the support of NVIDIA DLSS which uses AI-based super resolution to boost frame rates while generating beautiful, crisp game images. And there we have it, a brief look into what you can expect from Outriders on PC. Don't forget to check the Outriders YouTube channel for the full PC Spotlight video. Stay safe out there, people, and I'll see you all soon.